Hello and welcome to our podcast. I'm Risa. And I'm Ariana. And we're the Crowmeister Sisters. As a reminder, this podcast is rated T for Teen for strong language and mature themes. If you would like a podcast that doesn't have mature language and and themes, nailed it. Um, then go on over to her very own podcast, Unlocked. This week, they have the voice actress who was... Abby. Abby? Yeah. yeah. I was like, I know I saw it. I know I saw it. <laughs> yeah. Abby. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's favorite. Everybody's favorite character, Abby. Of course. Everyone's favorite. Strong voice acting. Okay. <laughs> but what are we talking about today, sister? Today, we are talking about, quote, the garbage can fire. <laughs> that is, stay tuned for danger. Stay tuned for danger. Uh, so yeah, Aww. last week, Ariana played Stay Tuned for Danger on stream. I did. And how did you feel about that? I felt very confused the entire time. <laughs> you looked pretty confused the entire I time. I was so confused. I just, I didn't, that game, like, it's not even just that it doesn't hold your hand. It is that it does not, like, uh, like, uh, like, 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 the game, uh, <laughs> I'm already done talking about this game. You're already done talking about Stay Tuned for Danger. Okay. Um, I guess I, the next half hour is going to be me talking about it. Um, <laughs> Sounds good. So what did you like about it? Okay. Um, uh, the actual premise and atmosphere are fun. Because, you know, it's it's a... It's a soap opera. There's a TV show being recorded, although we only see it being recorded once. Um, yeah. And, um, and you were there for like two weeks. <laughs> I was not there for two weeks. I barely slept. It was a few days. <laughs> there was one time when you were awake. Like, it was day, and then you were awake through the night, and then you were awake through the day. And I was like, yeah. Nancy needs some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine because there was another time when I had to go to sleep in order to get back to another certain another time so I slept through an entire day so there was that um <laughs> all right we're talking about what you like about it um no yeah <laughs> but no it's it's a good it's a good premise and atmosphere I do like that you know there's this there's a star whose life is being threatened and and the villain in theory works very nicely <laughs> And, um, um, I like the TV studio as far yeah. as natural, I mean, it's impossible to get around because you have to click in the exact right space to get around it, but I like the studio. It's, it's fun. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The studio yep. is nice. Um, travel by map. Uh, I could have done without that <laughs> primarily because <gasps> the fucking cabbies, I'm so over them. <laughs> Where do you want to go today, miss? <laughs> or whatever he hey, said. you want to go today, miss? I was just yeah, like, yeah, we're going to take you, lady. And then there the, was the Uber the offensive. racist one, yeah. Where can I take you to, lady? Oh my god, no. You're not even trying. Like, this is bad. <laughs> yeah, that was. I'm glad <laughs> everyone in the chat, too, was like, no. Just the second I heard that, I was like, oh no, I don't remember that one. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. So what did we not like about it? Oh, well, there's that. Um, um there's the racist cabbie. Um <laughs> Um, let's see. There's um the plot. Oh, yeah. And the fact that it doesn't <laughs> happen. <laughs> it's like there was such a good idea of a plot. Mhm. Mm the plot was going to Going so well until they actually attempted it, and then it yeah. crashed and burned. It's it's like they didn't know how to tell it through interactions. They didn't, so, because there were no interactions. Because there, there was no reason to... Spoiler alert. There was no reason to suspect Dwayne of anything. Like we, And they really don't play up the fact that he's like in love with Maddie very well. And they don't... They don't... It's so, like... Poorly done. 
Yeah. And even even the clues that they try to leave around, like, you know, trying to stick with the same thing that they did for um, Secrets Can Kill. They, had, you know, hid some of the clues around. Which and, makes um, absolutely zero sense in this those context. Those were so fucking half-assed. Like, the few that they had in there, it was like... <laughs> ridiculous it was stupid it it was it was a lot of just the number ones wasn't it there's a lot of those yes that was all it was unless there's one that i saw and i just went it's just a fucking clue i'm gonna skip over it yeah there was one you did do that for but someone in chat solved it for you so that's true that is true yep that's nice um but yeah and then it just wasn't it wasn't worth solving it wasn't so you were like like, thanks dudes i'm over it (laughs) Um, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, and just the gameplay in general, like, I know that it's the second game they ever did. It's got that wonderful, quirky 90s video game feel. But, um, like, you can't cut the fucking wires to the bomb. Oh, another thing I hate, the bomb. Um, <laughs> because we'll get there's to no that. way to know We'll get to that. But like you, you had to be I sure know, to click. I know, and I know, sister. I'm. It's a very tiny, tiny microscopic <laughs> window. The hitbox. <laughs> yeah, the hitbox is so tiny. <laughs> then you have to like back up a hallway because you can't turn around because they didn't want to <laughs> have. They didn't want to like show it going both ways for some reason. <laughs> Too much money, Ariana. It's funny. It could have looked exactly like the other side, but you know, because you could uh, go up and down the the one hallway yeah, where you. But, but the hallway with Rick and Maddie, you had to back down. Unless you were coming in from the um, side door. Yeah. So, so it's you like, actually came in. So it's like, why not just let me turn around? Why are you doing this to me? You know, to like, be you fair, me. maybe you could have turned around. It was just found very small, like, one pixel <laughs> that you had to find for it to become the blue. <sighs> <sighs> yeah. Yeah, so there's a lot to not like about the game. There's a um, lot. To be fair, like, the characters. Um, <laughs> the design, to be honest. Yeah. Um, the, I loved the, I loved all of the really badly photoshopped pictures of CGI person on normal person's body. <laughs> I, I loved all of those, to be so honest. Oh, good. They were hilarious. Just like. Were, that was also half-assed. Like. It was. It's like they, they made this game on like $10 in a tin can. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's how much money they had. They spent way too much money on the first game, so. Just, <laughs> yeah, they spent so much money on that. <laughs> yeah, so much money. Two CDs, Ariana. <laughs> Two CDs. Um, but yeah, do we want to move into characters now? <laughs> Let's move into characters. Who's your favorite character? I think the only character I could even stomach was Millie. Yeah, pretty much. Um, she's a little crazy. They never explain anything about her. Ever. No, you don't. Ha- Everything is just kind of implied, I guess. It's, it's like, like- it ne- it's never really is she actually kind of crazy and thinks that he's Rory. Do we ever, or is she just playing the part? I've never, I did, I never right? understood. We never found out. It's a real um, Hamlety situation. It's like, is she crazy? Is she playing the part, or did she play the part and then go crazy? Yeah, I mean, pretty much. It's one of those things. Um, I mean... Like, oh, I'm going to be a crazy old lady and, and everybody's going to have to skirt around me. <laughs> it's going to be so great. Hey, how's that going, Millie? What are you talking about? <laughs> this is who I am. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the weird thing about about Millie to me is that you just... You don't... don't and you, she's, not, she's not in the wrap-up either. They don't talk about she's her not- at all. I was so distraught. I was like, where's Millie? It's like, maybe she took Dwayne's $35 Rio de Janeiro ticket. <laughs> Fuck that ticket. Can I go back to things that I hate? I fucking hate that ticket. 
because they never explain it. Dollars. He, uh, he also yeah. never talks about like that being like his getaway plan or anything. So we're just supposed to go. Oh yeah, he's he's broke and he's fleeing the country. Yeah, for some you know, fucking for reason. a broke person, he spends a lot of money on plastic explosives. <laughs> That's why he needed that five thousand dollar loan. <laughs> yep. Uh, but yeah. Uh, Millie... If your agent is asking you for a five thousand dollar loan, get a new fucking agent. Yeah. <laughs> like, or really, any Maddie, loan. You're... Step up your game. <laughs> you should never hire someone to represent you who then has to ask you for money. <laughs> Great, glad we signed that contract. Could I borrow about a thousand dollars, like even for a friend? Yeah, just just say no. Just say no. Don't don't do it, man. Don't do it. <laughs> this has been business advice with the Krollmeister sisters. Business advice with the Krollmeister sisters. Brought to you by Ovaltine. Um, okay, so <laughs> can we get that Ovaltine sponsorship? <laughs> <laughs> that desperately needed Ovaltine sponsorship. Do they even still sell Ovaltine? I think. I was just wondering that. I think they still sell Ovo- Ovaltine. Yes. The original. Just the original radio sponsor. <laughs> um, What character is your least favorite? All of the others? I guess. Here's the thing about these quote unquote characters. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> they're not characters. They're not. They're like push brooms you can talk to. It. They don't like. Nothing they do has any effect on the situation. <laughs> Cause like, okay, Lillian kicks us out. We just talk to Maddie and immediately get back in. So it doesn't really fucking matter that she kicked us out. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, man. Like, they just, seriously, nothing that they ever do makes any difference. And then they just disappear for long stretches of time, and we're just supposed to, like, take that. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just, I'm so... Yeah. No. And I think that was really mostly them, um, like, making up for the fact that in um, Secrets Can Kill, uh, if memory serves me, basically everybody's there at all times. They're always in their positions, and they're probably like, you know, it probably looks pretty stupid. Oh, I know. In this next game, people will leave and then come back. So you have to, like, do things when they're not around. Yeah, that's brilliant. Fuck yeah. Whoever came up with that idea for this game just didn't think it out very properly. No. It was no. very short It Honestly, the entire thing felt like, like they were trying to save money. <laughs> We can't animate them, like, doing all that much. Okay, no, it's fine. They'll just disappear a lot. <laughs> They'll just disappear for half the game. Like, it's okay. Rick is there. Oh, yeah, for, you can have, like, like five no conversations time. with him at all the entire game. That's it. I don't even know if it's Andre that many. Vu. Andre Vu. Oh, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, thank you. And then one of Nancy's answers being, <laughs> being I'm not that young. Get no, out. no, honey. No, no, no. Honey, get, get out. out. <laughs> get out. <laughs> Never ever tell a man like that. I'm not that young. Not that young. Even as like a how, uh, a, a, how a, like, old are you? Exactly. <laughs> like even as like a nine year old, I knew that that wasn't <laughs> right. Like that wasn't okay. That wasn't kosher. Like, no, no. Pretty young. Ugh. Anyway. He's um, supposed to be like in his late 20s. I think, he, yeah, I think he's... And then we're supposed to be happy. Like, happy. like they've got like yeah. a whole career behind them. And we're supposed to be happy that he and Maddie gets, get married at the end? I do not give two shits about that. Well, they don't get married. Their characters get married. Oh, their characters get married. Yeah. Their characters get married. Oh, I got confused. And they sort of start dating again. <laughs> oh, okay. That makes way more sense. No, I know. Sense. Initially, I started, I started like going off on it and they went, oh, oh, their characters. Their oh, characters okay. Characters get married. Okay. Nancy good. pulled the wool over my eyes on that one. And mine. Um, yeah. Well, to be fair, I was crocheting while I was watching the VOD, the so I wasn't. I just wasn't paying enough attention. <laughs> it's okay. 
But yeah, so <laughs> Reese, Reese, like Reese, like I need to finish watching your vlog before we can talk about it. Like, or you could not. You know, <laughs> nothing happens. You saw the first one. That's pretty much it. <laughs> um, I actually so on our way back, um, we we did a transatlantic flight, which is long as and boring as fuck. And we got put on a um, a, f- a plane from the '80s, so it didn't have any anything on it to keep us entertained. Um, so what I ended up doing was, thankfully, the day before, I downloaded the second two vods, um, so I could watch them. So I watched the second one on the plane, but I couldn't watch more than that because there were no, there were no, there were no, a socket plugs. Right, you couldn't you couldn't charge. So your... I couldn't charge my yeah. computer, but I was watching it, and I got to the bomb part, and I was like, I don't feel comfortable watching this on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like someone's gonna look over. Oh my god, what does this woman have? <laughs> There's a bomb on the plane. No, it's poorly no, animated. Don't worry about it's okay. it. Okay. Don't worry. My sister will disarm it in like twenty minutes. Okay. Pretty much. <laughs> I'm sorry, sister, but I skipped it was a huge fucking portion ridiculous. of that. I wish I could have skipped it. <laughs> I also don't like what I am doing. It's like... <laughs> no. I hated that part. I hated it so much. Yeah. No, I, I get that. Um, the characters, though, I say Lillian is the worst because she... Talks to us, like, every single time we talk to her, she yells at us. Yeah. She's just... Bitch from hell. Like, she is, Jesus like, Christ, lady. Get it together. Seriously. Like. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And then we already went over Rick being sleazy. Yeah. So... And then the security guard just doesn't do anything. He has the two lines. The security guard is very by the books, and I appreciate him for that. He says the same thing every single time we come in. He's yeah. just the exact. It's like we paid him to say oh, these lines. Hello, Miss Drew. It's like you didn't have to look at the past to know my name. You've done this uh, about three times today. I literally just turned around, came outside, and then went back in. <laughs> Let me see your pass, please. <laughs> Could have expired in the last five minutes. Um, he doesn't know. He's just doing his due diligence. He is. Um, but I, it, to me, it sounded more like we paid him to say these lines. We might as well just <laughs> put him in every time. Yeah. You know. Just how it is. Um, so what was your favorite puzzle? We've gone over a couple puzzles you hated. What was your favorite puzzle? Okay. Slash uh, moment. See, you'll notice that, yeah, I was going to say, you'll notice that in our notes... I didn't write anything about any puzzles. That's because there aren't any. That's true. There's basically trick questions. Um, well, okay, like like the fucking um, the the yeah, how to get the the thing going. There's no it's way to four. know that there's a fucking light out in there. So like Nancy notices, oh, there's a bull burnt out. I just went, oh, you know what? I'll bet. <laughs> like it took for fucking ever. I was like, no, there's gotta be there's gotta be instructions somewhere. I'm fine. But anyway, there's just, there's, there there are no puzzles. There, there are trick questions. Because there's that, and then there's, you know, trying to do the, um, the modifications on the, uh, recording. Yeah. Which and it's like, I remembered. that's fruitless effort. So, like, no. <laughs> See, the, every time you kept doing it, I kept being like, oh, Ariana, I'm pretty sure this is the last puzzle you can do. Because when you find out that it's Dwayne, he's there. No, no, yeah. you just never, well, he just happens to never, be... you never solve it. It never, never gets solved. Yeah. Um, we only catch yeah. him because he's about to kill someone else. Kill someone. Yep. He's just about to kill someone. He's legit just, just about to kill Lillian. Like if we just like not met Lillian, she would have been dead in the studio. Yeah. You would have come in the next day to Lillian being dead. Like, he would have propped her up in some macabre fashion. And it would have just been like, your next shit just Rick. got real. Right? Yeah. yeah, it would have gone from Nancy Drew to Poirot pretty quickly. Um, yeah. So, but yeah. yeah. 
I thought it was hilarious that Lillian got mad at us for defusing the bomb. <laughs> that she's like, why? Wow, yeah, just look over here, Miss Miss D- Bomb Diffuser. Why don't you go defuse <laughs> another bomb? It's Bobby McDiffuserson. Uh, like, and so it's just like, okay. <laughs> like, first of all, I defused a bomb, motherfucker. <laughs> Second of all, <laughs> yeah, are you just are you just jealous because it's a teenage girl who <laughs> did it? Yeah, that's it's so. Confusing. I could have done it. <laughs> I'm still young and vibrant. I can defuse bombs too. Yeah, I'm a yeah. strong, independent woman who can defuse bombs at a moment's notice. I'm and a strong, I... independent woman who desperately needs her man back because that's my entire. That's actually, I'm gonna that's go creepy. back around to that. Yeah. Um, Jesus Christ. The whole ex-girlfriend thing was insane. Yeah. Just uh, all her bullshittery. Anyway. Anyway. Favorite moment. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to keep going around in circles. Um, you know, I didn't put this in my notes, but um, actually one of my favorite moments was uh, when I went, when Lillian's like, who, who do you think did it? And I went, okay, chat. <laughs> yeah. Who do we want to say did it? <laughs> that it's was Millie. my favorite. <laughs> it's Millie! <clears throat> Clearly, yes. Clearly. Um, I liked when we all noted, uh, heard Ned speak. <laughs> and everyone went, Who the fuck is this? <laughs> this isn't Ned. And like three of us in chat, we were like, Oh, that's why we kidnapped Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> we killed this guy. <laughs> And replaced him with Charlie. Yeah, Charlie is like, is like Snowball. So we keep replacing him every time he dies. This one just happens to have made it a lot longer than the last two. Wow. Yeah, there there was was a Ned before the Ned from the beginning of the games, yeah. Obviously. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, that second voice actor has lasted a long time. He has. Longer Good. than any yeah. of the other... Ned? Uh, voice voice actors. Original voice actors? Yeah. The only one who has never changed was Frank Hardy. Not Frank. Joe Hardy. Joe Hardy is the only one who's always been the same person. But he didn't well, Yeah, how do you later. replace that voice? How do you replace that voice? He voice. does it so well. He does. I he love does it, it perfectly. It's true. Um, yeah, Bess was the culprit, Ariana. It was Bess. It was clearly Bess. That bitch because would she'd never her pick up phone. her phone. Did you, I'm, my question, my question right now is, you called George, and she goes, are you still in Florida? But, you called her because there was a message that said George called. (laughs) And to call her back. George, you you just called me in New York. (laughs) Are you okay? Well, see, here's why I was calling Nancy. I fell and hit my head, and I forgot a few things. (laughs) <laughs> it was so funny to me because you never said anything about it and I was just like I was just irritated <laughs> and wanting to be done by that point so I was like oh I'm sorry I'm supposed to be noticing things written down on a fucking piece of paper <laughs> oh I, another thing that I loved um, was um, when I came down the stairs one morning for, for, in Maddie's <laughs> and I go huh what's that ticking sound just well <laughs> out the door <laughs> Everybody's like, Ariana, if there was a package, it's like, I didn't see a fucking package. <laughs> like, but I didn't notice the ticking. I'm very proud of myself for noticing the ticking. Yeah, okay. Little victories, Ariana. <laughs> just, well, on with the day. That's the best Nancy Drew ever. <laughs> You know, <laughs> it's she gets a phone call later. From, she gets a call later from Maddie going, "Why is why is there something ticking in the hallway?" <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was a good that was a good time. Basically, I think my favorite moments about this, involving this game are just ones that happened while I was streaming. I found the source of the ticking. It's a pipe bomb. Yay! 
a little bit more. But anyway. <laughs> exactly. Mm. Uh, <gasps> yes. Uh, <laughs> um, so what no, was your then, least favorite? <laughs> wait, hold on. I have one okay. more favorite. <laughs> okay, one more favorite. Because it's actually, in full, it's actually in the game. So um, my favorite oh. is the climactic scene where Dwayne is coming towards us, trying to kill us, and then he gets taken from behind. <laughs> he gets tackled. <laughs> he gets tackled. <laughs> by Mr. Security. Because <laughs> Reese is not in her chair anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Reese had a hard day. <laughs> had a very hard day. But um, and but uh, fucking the security guy comes up and he tackles Dwayne and it's like, oh yeah, because like first of all, there's <laughs> you're gonna be okay. Because <laughs> first of all, it's like, yay, we get to see Dwayne taken to the ground. And then the second the second part of it is they glitch in and out of existence during that scene, and it's wonderfully upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> Risa, I don't think you even heard the rest of that story. I think she's still stuck. I did. I did. They did. They kept just blinking out of distance. <laughs> Every time they moved to position. Okay, least favorite. What was your least favorite puzzle slash moment? The bomb, guys. The bomb. Yeah. I hate that. Where did that phrase "the bomb" even come from? Fuck the bomb. <laughs> um, Don't what I love that, is that, that was funny. <laughs> Everything's funny right now. Um, every there, there's like no way to solve that bomb without dying first. No, yeah, it's a hundred percent trial by <laughs> trial by fire. You're just like, all right, like maybe honestly. I'll do it right. There's there's literally no instructions on it whatsoever. It's just supposed to be, okay, just try and do it. This is what the whole game is. It's there are no like instructions that you find for anything. You just it's just like Well there you go. Go on your merry way. It's like, but what am I supposed to be doing? Nope, go on. <laughs> Follow the yellow brick road. That's much better instructions than <laughs> Than we got for the fucking Nancy Drew thing. It's just, I don't know, man. It mm. was... They don't... Nothing is telegraphed. There's not even a Nancy going, hmm, when no, something is like... Vocalize it all in this game. Which might have been for the better, because Lonnie's choices in this game were awful. <laughs> just like her intonation just like, Honey, did you even, like, read the next person's line? Did you even no. read what's happening around you? They didn't pay her enough to do that. <laughs> You're not paying me to read. You're paying me to talk into a microphone. <laughs> I'm going to do one take, and that's all you're getting. <laughs> she just, like, recited the entire script in an hour. That's it. If it even took her that long, because it's not like she talks a lot in this game. No, she doesn't. You don't talk to anybody. No, you really don't. You don't so talk desolate. to anyone. Desolate. I felt so like cut off from the rest of the world. <laughs> Genuinely, <laughs> there was a stretch of time where nobody was saying anything in the chat, and I was just like, "Please, I'm so lonely." <laughs> I'm sorry, sister. <sighs> but, but yeah, yeah. So least favorite, the bomb. Um, the bomb. Because there were no other puzzles. Um, and calling that a puzzle was is being generous. It's very generous. <laughs> um, so yeah. What is your crackpot theory? My crackpot theory is that eventually mm -hmm. Maddie and Lillian get together with um um well when Jane's mom comes to the States, you know? Uh -huh. Um um, I believe that she, you know, we're pretty sure she has an affair with Rick Arlen. I believe that's in our head canon. Um, and at the same time, he's supposed to be dating Maddie and Lillian. So they all get together and they murder him. Uh, okay. I didn't say it was a complicated theory. <laughs> I just I believe there's it. a reason we stopped hearing about Rick Arlen after a while. <laughs> I thought it would be because he just got fat. <laughs> That seems to be what happens to actors. We stop talking about them when they get fat. 
I'm, that's pretty much, especially dream. And then and then there's Val Kilmer, and they fucking and they fucking like come back with a goddamn vengeance. They're like, no, fuck you. I'm going to be a fat villain, or <laughs> I'm going to be the sassy gay man. Um, <laughs> um, my crackpot my theory? crackpot theory is that um before he became an actor. Before he became an actor, Rick Arlen made all of his money by uh, donating sperm. And so there are a bunch of little uh, Rick Arlen babies around oh, no. New York. And when they grow up, they file a class action lawsuit against <laughs> him for um, making them be alive. <laughs> you did this to me. <laughs> um, actually... Not to not to derail our crackpot theory corner, um, but uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> what was with Rick changing his name? I think we're supposed to think that his. I mean, his it was a vaguely Jewish name. sounding yeah. last name. I think and I'm like, I I mean to be <sighs> fair, that happened a lot. I know in but show still. business, but it's a weird thing to put in. <laughs> I, it was it was very weird. Like I, it was a really if they'd weird... given him like a weird like maybe like a hillbilly name or something like that. It was like oh his actual name is um his actual name is um Bobby Jim <laughs> Thurston the third and um that would have been fine. But they gave him a j- distinctly Jewish sounding name. And it was like um guys this isn't okay. It's not. Uh, but, yes. Uh, so those are our crackpot theories. Um, we'd love to hear yours. You can let us know on our, on our Twitter, our Tumblr, our YouTube SoundCloud, tw- and just come into one of our Twitch streams, any of those things, you can let us know. Uh, I, I, I don't know the spiel right now. Do you have anything to say? Um... Tell us, tell us uh, where you want to take a hot shit on um, <laughs> Stay Tuned for Danger. Bask in the hate. <laughs> yeah. Um, so any of that, uh, as a reminder, you can now subscribe to our Twitch. Uh, so you can get access to that cute little wine glass emote. And you can also buy us a digital coffee on ko-fi.com slash Sisters. Um... So just as a reminder, I'm Risa. I'm Ariana. And we're the Curlmeister Sisters, and we're asking you guys to stay sleuthy.